Hello Basketball Man, I'm 2-5 here and this is the World of Warships. Now I'm going to be reviewing and showing you some gameplay of two ships today on my choice. And I'm going to decide right now whether they which ones they are. It's going to be the Karl Schur, which is the tier 4 uh, German and the cruiser and the Clemson. Tier six, there's tier four, six, tier four American destroyer. Now let's start with the Clemson. So we have four torpedo tubes. There's two on each side, which does give you an advantage over some destroyers that only have two. There's more torpedoes, and you don't have to wait as long for a reload. So yeah. Uh, Torpedoes, I have the Mark 11. Let's do it bog standard as you get it. As you get it, um, you don't have that many hit points, 8,800, so you can basically be one shot by a lot of torpedoes. So this really isn't designed to be against either aircraft or other destroyers. Really, you want to be going for cruisers and battleship and Immo not immobilized, but battleships that look like they're reloading. You know, you see them just firing up that salvo, then go in, fire at the torpedoes, get out. The torpedoes themselves are quite good. They have a reload time of 36 seconds, which is pretty good. You know, for this tier, it's okay. Uh, damage of 9,900, meaning maximum damage, meaning that at maximum damage you can one shot the other destroyers if needed and you can one, you know, one of those uh, torpedo launchers where will probably just wipe out any a um, cruiser if they all hit and uh, yeah, the range of 5 plus which for this tier is quite good uh, it's not the best, I don't know, Japanese destroyer has a better range, I don't know, but yeah, the torpedoes I have are much better. They're slightly longer than the reload at 9.4 seconds, which is closer to a minute, so a minute reload, but they're in maximum damage of 11,703. So they can one shot some cruisers some cruisers in the game. It's insane. And torpedo speed of 56 knots is it's good for the tier. It's basically basically the ship's really an all round destroyer. Um, then we get the Clemson B. Yeah about that. Uh, which has yeah four main turrets, four torpedo tubes, three A and 6 to 13 is an arm. Pretty thin arm with a lot of shells that are penetrating. The 102mm 15T is no improvement, I don't see. It probably makes them double, gives them more armor. I don't know. But and then we got the Mark 11 mod, Mark 4 mod 2, it's a gun control, and that brings its range of its main gun, 86 kilometers, which is quite good. Yeah, sort of adds more armor around the sides. Makes, makes this one a double. Uh, makes them double cannons. That's it. Now I've got double cannons. Which is quite cool. And I'm getting, going to get the Nikos after. Yeah, that's the plan. Now, 
pretty much fully upgraded. Get into that. So, just waiting in the cube. I'm going to talk out about destroyers and what I'll be doing. So basically, I'll probably just be cruising about and then fire some torpedoes at the probably cruiser. Looks like it's going to be a cruiser match at the moment. Mm, I'm going to be targeting those that uh, Wyoming, I believe. Yeah, I'll be targeting the Wyoming and to my god they got a lot of destroyers. Uh, that's a cruiser in there. Yeah. Is uh that cruiser that's a destroyer. No, that's a cruiser. Oh yeah, they're all cruisers. That's a destroyer, there, isn't it? Yeah, that's a tier four destroyer. They got one, two, three, four, five. Half their team are destroyers. Never seen that really. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, let's get in. Everyone's loaded in. Battle starts. Thank you. 
Behind cover, fire for shoot, fire for a few shots. Go behind cover, reload, and come back out, fire, and go back in to cover. And Trident, I believe, has quite a bit of cover, so I will be fine. Hopefully, I'll get some better gameplay than last match, where I basically just got wrecked and then tried to wreck a enemy. I also wrecked a enemy destroyer, but anyway. The, the ship does look pretty cool in the sense. In game, it looks pretty cool. And you do have eight low damage cannons, so you are pretty vulnerable by the last one. And the first one's reloaded. Like that, like a machine gun. Favourite taxis spin around. 
General <laughs> Quarters. Acceleration is pretty good. Ten. You turn quite quickly. That reload. New. We are waiting a bit for it. It's a pretty bad ship. I wouldn't recommend it. Keeping it. I'd recommend going to it just to get the Clemson, yeah, it's a good destroyer. I like it. It's a very good destroyer. Not as good as the later ones, but then again, 
I don't think any ship can really outmatch higher tiers. Apart from maybe some tier 8 can manage the tier 10s, but you know, there's a bit of opinion on that. Depends on your playstyle and all that. Yeah, let's see how this matches up against the Russian equivalent. Well, against the Russian equivalent, I'm slightly, I've got very slightly more survivability and quite a bit better torpedoes, but not as good artillery, A defense, or concealment, but I'm very slightly more maneuverable. Very tight. I think it'll come down to basically who fire, fires first. I don't hope to get against him because basically all my only chance is to hide or shoot with my, my superior torpedoes. Anyway, right. Battle starts. Okay, I'm gonna go down to that. This map's not great for the top, for um, destroyers. Basically, your only hope is to uh, get to the center of the map there. Engine boost activated. And that's my play style with troops. Anything with torpedoes really just hides in the like um, island the areas. Really just try and be a good destroyer. So this Generator started. Two 
1700 AP damage, which means there isn't much difference between HE and AP. Basically, you see on the South Carolina match, just don't break the AP, but otherwise, just leave HE and you won't under penetrate them, you just set them on fire. And then you got the Bogota A, which is a 20,500 hit points, which is quite good. Yeah. That, for that tier, it's quite good. It's a powerful. It has a 2,000, so this is quite a slug it out cruiser. And it does only have 10 main turrets, which is quite interesting. There are only two, but two of them are double cannons. There's two Second one over, they don't change the and you have a propulsion all the way through 24 knots, so it is quite a slow but you can slug it out with this thing in here because it really is just a slug of a weapon. You slug out with it with everything. Now, what's that with the improvement on the cannon? Basically, it doesn't improve it, it unimproves it, but What it does do is it improves the armor. And that it does improve I know it doesn't no, you know why I have Oh, I should I don't get a SP. Uh back to the pockets in. Pockets in. Yeah, it's a good ship. I'm go working to the next Russian cruiser with uh, the other region which is going to release, which looks interesting, especially since these cannons aren't in the But anyway, we'll see. We'll see if they do it. Yeah, I'm just going to do the, the setup, I think. Oh, it defends these cannons, basically puts like an outer bit on these cannons here, but which makes these more prone to destruction, but it really important to sacrifice it against 200 hit points per shot. So if you lose 200 hit points, all these cannons will have to be to one salvo and having that the real time is nine seconds, so it's too long. That's a tier nine Japanese battleship with the three cannons on the front, which I don't get. I put three cannons on the front, just weird, isn't it? Anyway. Looks like it's going to be a cruiser, destroyer, and battleship as well. Excuse me, guys. Oh, oh, is it crashing? Is it crashing? Don't crash on me. Anyway, um, yeah. So we, by the looks of it, we've got less destroyers by one, but we have. My God, there are tier fives in this. This is a tier three. Right, as tier threes can have our own little battle away from them. So there are two tier threes on their side, three on ours. Saint Louis on this side. Now the Saint Louis is interesting because it has so many cannons. I remember using it thinking this is OP, but it is very slow. This is a slow cruiser. That's a really slow cruiser, and a really badly concealed cruiser. This does have a lot of cameras.
sorry, I have to refuse. 